Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. It's a Tuesday, which means it's time to go over this week's Atomic Shot review. We're going to be checking it out, seeing if there's any new items and stuff. And after this, in the next hour or so, there should hopefully be an article getting released about the new Atlantic City update, which is getting added to the PDS. So I'll be going over that and discussing all the changes that's coming in. So stay tuned on the channel for that. For now, though, let's find out what's in the Atomic Shop this week. If you enjoy, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and here we have it. So, there's a weird one. Right, okay, so we've got a bunch of seal items, first of all. And the first item that really stands out to me is this giant Brontosaurus. Um, I don't know what the... What the deal is with these giant dinosaurs that keep adding into the game, obviously it was kind of linked, the first one, with um, New Vegas, where you had the big one in that little town where the sniper was, Boone, I think it was called. Um, whereas these ones, I don't, I just don't get it. Like, I'm not, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not saying many people actually use them in the game. And I just don't know, what what would you do with them? I, honestly, I have no clue whatsoever. But yeah, this is another one that's coming in. This is for Fallout first users. Um, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. The other stuff up here is all sale items. So we've got the costume bundle, including the Silver Shroud costume, the Fedora, Captain Cosmo's helmet, Manta Man costume, Inspector's top hat, Grog Knight the Barbarian costume, Gladiator helmet, Inspector costume, uh, Gladiator outfit, and the Captain Cosmo suit as well. So lots of stuff in there for 1440 we also have the big and tall bundle. I own some of this, so this is actually 2,000. This includes the Brotherhood of Steel Armory, the Firewatch Lookout Tower, the Wavy Willards Wipeout, Charleston Fire Station, Makeshift Mega Mansion, and also the Red Barn. So lots of different prefabs in there if you're interested in picking any of those up. We also have the Haunted House Kit for sale this time around. I'm gonna guess it's actually part of a bundle, judging off what else uh, is in the store. So there's gonna be a bundle there. Yes, I know, guys, I'm sorry. I should make another account to do this, but never mind. Um, but we've got the Haunted House Kit, as well as the Haunted House Floors, Wallpapers, Haunted House, Porch Set, and the Rusted Chain Link Fence. So if you want to get involved in like the Bethesda um, Halloween camp build competition and stuff that's currently ongoing this month, that could be one that's standing out to you. Now, the stuff that came in last week is all the Red Rocket themed items. This is all still up for sale if you want to pick any of that up, which you didn't get a chance to. I still haven't bought the Red Rocket Garage. I feel like I'm just going to buy that now. I actually really like that prefab. Um, but yeah, some decent stuff in there if you want to pick any of that up. you still got this up for sale for another 13 days. Greatest hits now. We've got a bunch of Halloween themed items as well. So we've got... The Feral Girl costume for 560, the Coffin backpack for 400. I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen that in quite some time. Probably not because it's probably out last year for the last Halloween, but I don't even remember seeing it then, so I don't know. God knows, but I'm just forgetting. We've got the Bony Tambo skin as well for 250, the Vamp Boy icon for 75, Plague Doctor mask for 250. A lot of people want this mask, you know. And I'm kind of tempted by it. I am really tempted to buy that as well. I might buy it, who knows. You've also got the Gag Glasses Bundle. This includes three sets of Gag Glasses, they're called. So you've got the 3D, the kind of Mothman eyes, and also the, like, another eyes that on springs. Uh, them things. Jack o' Lantern Loot Bags for 250 Trick Candy Bowl as well. It's up there. Going on the Vault section, it's all of the Winding Path Bundle, which came out two or three weeks ago now. So if you want to pick up any of that, that is still in there for this week, and it should be disappearing for quite some time. Finally, on the last page, we've got the No Trespassing sign, which will be free this week. 250 caps, which will be free today. The Mini Death Claw statue, which will be the 24-hour item only. Hopefully this week I will have that video up for you guys tomorrow. However, last week they didn't release the article till like two or three days after the Atomic Shot update, so I just left it. Um, but hopefully they'll release that today and I'll get it up tomorrow for you. The Giant Prontosaurus, which we've already spoke on, and the Beekeeper outfit is also a Fallout first outfit uh, this time around, which you will be able to buy, but I already own it, so I can't see the price. Sorry about that. Anyways, that is all the stuff coming out of the Atomic Shop this week, guys. So I hope you all did enjoy. Let me know what you think about this bundle and stuff like that. Are you going to be buying anything? Are you not? Let me know. And what do you think about that dinosaur? Because for me, I just, I just don't get it. Maybe I'm missing something. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.